A former Emmy-nominated television sports reporter and anchor, Carrie O'Hara is consistently recognized by the real estate community as one of the top real estate agents in the Boise metro area. As a top producing agent in Boise, Christina Moore Ward has been named one of Real Trend's top three individual agents in Idaho, having closed over 1,300 transactions. Matt Bauscher, founding partner at Amherst Madison, is credited with being the youngest real estate agent in Idaho history to sell over 100 properties over four consecutive years, as well as one of the top selling agents in the country. Cami Brandt offers the complete package, including unparalleled personal service and a determination for meeting the needs of clients. She is consistently among the elite agents in her area and has been a multi-million dollar top producer for over a decade. Brett Hughes is the founder of Boise Premier Real Estate and has grown his brokerage to over 160 agents. He attributes his success not only to his passion for real estate, but also to his intuition regarding the psychology of buying and selling. And I'm your host, Taz Weatherly. My job is to help guide the sellers through this exciting game show to ensure they get the answers to their most important questions and help them select the agent that best fits their style, personality, and expectations. Hi, we're Doug and Claudine Lurcher. We have a 1970s home on, in southwest Boise. It's a split level, built in the 70s, four bedroom, two bath. And the most exciting thing about our home is it's on an acre and has a lot of potential. We're gonna be relocating our family to southeast Idaho, and so it's time for us to sell our home and move our family. So there are plenty of good agents out there. How come you guys are here today? The story a little bit is my family has a thousand acre farm and we're going to move there and build a home and finish raising our family there. And so we want to get top dollar to make that transition. And this is a great opportunity for us to be able to visit with some of you who are outstanding agents. So there was a home inspection done by AAD prior to coming on here today. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? We, we recognize it's an older home and so we wanted to uh, make sure we're aware of any major things that needed to be done so that people could come in with confidence. Uh, the biggest issue was a roof. The roof was probably about 20 years old, and so the entire roof is done on the house, on the detached garage, and so all the, all the major things are, have all been taken care of. But, I mean, it's an older home, so there are, there are things, if you like to fix things up a little bit, you can fix them up, but there's no major things. Now the agents are gonna watch a video tour of your home and come up with their opinion of value. Feeling groovy? Welcome to this four bed, two bath, 1970 split level home on an acre in Boise. The bones may be old, but in the kitchen, you'll find updated countertops, backsplash, and appliances. Off the main level master, you have access to your own backyard patio. As if this home didn't come with enough possibilities. Convert this detached garage into an office, mother-in-law quarters, or a playroom. Nestled on this acre property, you'll find a thriving garden, complete with a chicken coop. Okay, agents, after watching the video tour of this amazing property, now is your time to ask any questions that you may have. Can you tell us a little bit more about the land? Obviously, you guys have had some great memories with your boys. Uh, playing back there. Uh, tell us about the irrigation and what you have set up there. You mentioned, the, is there a detached garage as well as the one that's attached? Mm -hmm. Correct, so we have a two car attached garage and then a third detached garage. That's the what we've converted into the rec room. 
the, we have a in-ground irrigation system, automatic sprinkler system through the, for the whole lawn, front and backyard. And in the past year, we have water rights, and so we can flood irrigate that. Um, and then this year, it's been a drought, so we've had to augment it a little bit with a hose and a sprinkler. Um, and we haven't, uh, like she mentioned, we've always, almost always had animals back there. And so we've had draft horses, Shetland ponies, so a variety of animals that have been back there. So fully fenced? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes. And then your, I saw the garden area, is that all on a drip line? No, we, we, ir we irrigate that by hand with a hose currently. Okay. And what would be the best selling feature outside of it's an acre property, which is very difficult to come by in our market? Um, outside of that, what else would you say is the um, best selling feature of your home? I would say the thing that we enjoy most is um, off of our kitchen, we have an enclosed sunroom, and then off of that is the deck. And spring, summer, fall, we're on the deck all the time. We have a TV mounted out there. That's where we watch TV. That's where we hang out. And in the winter, we have the enclosed sunroom that has a, a heater, a built-in uh, baseboard heater, is that they're called. And we're there all winter long. We, we don't live in much the rest of the house because of those two things. We love it. I sold a house over there recently, and they could literally like drive a mo like their motorcycles in the backyard. Yes. Is that allowed to do what yes. you're at as well? Oh, my our four wheelers. That's what our old our one of our sons. That's his favorite thing is driving his four wheeler in the backyard. Okay. And then a question like that, they ask great questions. But if we were sitting down at the table, I would ask like, are you open to like some staging? Are you open to like potentially like repainting the front of the house? Like it's so functional, it's in great shape. But there may be some things we could do to boost value. Would that be of interest to you, or do you need to leave, live there until the time that you move? It's, we're doing both. Right now we're living in a hotel, and starting tomorrow we're moving into our RV. And so that from now until it sells, we'll be out of the house so that it can maintain looking good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're open to doing anything that will help us get top dollar. I mean, obviously we have limitations to our resources. Right. So, But if you could show a return, you'd be willing to do so. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the reason we put a whole new roof on. But, you know, I don't know. Those are really expensive right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now the agents will have five minutes to conduct some market research. But first, a message from our sponsors. We take raw talent, uh, people that have the desire to be realtors, to be top producers, to make a big difference in their clients' lives, and we're able to bring them into the right environment, give them the tools, the training, the mentorship, the leadership to get them where they want to go. I think at Amherst Madison, it's quality over quantity. I think client relationships are the oxygen of your business. We are making long-term investments into our people, our space, our tools, and our environment. This is a company that's built to last. Welcome back to List to Last. Let's check in with the agents and see how they value the home. Matt, start us off. Okay, I love your property. I love that it's a family home on an acre close to the city. That's incredible. COVID, I think, brought out the time to spread your wings and have some room and not live in a confined space, and that's what your property offers. Um, I love the fact that you guys are willing to move out, professionally stage it, do the necessary high return on investment items. Um, I think we put it at a price that's really appealing, that drives traffic, knowing that it's on an acre and that there's gonna be a lot of people going towards it that has that fourth bedroom for a family. So the price I feel extremely confident about is 685,000. Yeah. Carrie? I listed your house at 599.9. I don't think there could possibly be a better time to sell an acreage property. Uh, your location is amazing, being close to Bora to, for the kids to bike to school, um, and then all the big box stores and downtown, but then you have this oasis all by itself. You painted a perfect picture of what it was like to raise your children there, and I hear that time after time again, that they just want a little space, a place for the kids to go do band practice or uh, hang out with their teenagers. Uh, again, you've done such a great job. It allows them to have, uh, I've had clients say that they were looking for a prepper's paradise, and it seems that you've already done that. Uh, so I think that this price, again, uh, would allow the majority of the buyers that are looking for that to get in and potentially drive that market value higher. I think it's important to be priced accurately right now 
because we have seen a substantial slowdown and this number I feel like is going to get that attention. All right, Great, thanks. thank you. Okay, so once again, I, I kind of cheated, all right? <laughs> so I have myself an as-is value along with a, with a fixed up value, okay? And I just sold a house on Binapple, so not too far away from where you guys are at. It's, on, it's almost an acre and it's, it's a similar condition. So unbelievable, like people love that sort of property that's it's in demand for sure. Um, there are some things we could do to up that value. Um, so I, th I think if we came on like as is, just kind of the way it's at, I think 599 is a pretty strong price for it and we could get a little bit higher. But I think if we did some, some updating, um, there's one on Morrow that I thought looked really good from the exterior. Um, had more like you know lighter paint on the out on the outside. So some of those things we could do, we could boost you up to about the 6.45 mark. So I thought that might be the right way to go, depending on budget, time, and and what kind of um, uh, your horizon would look like. Okay, great. Thank you. Yes. Yep. And Christina. So I'm recommending a list price of 6.30. That you wouldn't believe the number of phone calls I get from California right now saying I just want an acre in Idaho. And it's a dream for a lot of folks, and I think your property would be the perfect starter home for that like first-time acreage buyer. I think 630, no matter what, 625, 630 is going to be a solid price for you. Great. All right. Thank Terrific. you. Awesome. Now that we've seen our agent's opinion of value, let's check in with our third party. If you are buying or selling a home, it's important to have a thorough and trustworthy inspection team on your side. We at AAD are your home inspection advocates, making sure you are well informed and confident about transaction decisions. Our residential and commercial inspectors are InterNACHI certified, serving the Treasure Valley since 1994. Your peace of mind is at the heart of our business, and earning your trust means everything to us. You can find us at WeCheckHomes.com. According to our third party evaluation, the home is valued at $640,000. Brett, Christina, and Carrie, you guys are moving on to the next round. Cami, Matt, your listing has been canceled. Doug, Claudine, now that you've seen the pricing estimates, what are your thoughts? I think we're excited about some of these numbers and uh, excited to move forward to the next step. In this phase, you guys are now allowed to ask the agents any questions on their strategy, their experience, or anything else that you need to know in order to choose the best agent for you in your home. What would be your approach to the marketing? How would you, we have an older home, so how do you highlight the good things and minimize the things that are like, that's an old house? Sure. Like I said before, an acre property is near impossible to find these days. So when they come on, they're a hot commodity. It's really all about that focusing on what you have and not what you don't have. So when it comes to sprucing up the house, whether that, and, and since you guys are going to be in your RV, that's amazing. You're moving anyway, moving your furniture out, having everything packed. And again, same thing, my team helps with everything. We have our handyman, painters, whatever is necessary to make the house look top notch. And then bringing in that staging, uh, you painted a perfect picture earlier of what your life has been like in this house for the past 18 years. I think saying the exact same things and pointing all of those features out to the potential buyer is going to be incredibly important. Hey, here we go. <laughs> now that you guys have had time to discuss, which agent do you choose? Sure, I, I think we have decided to go with Carrie. Wow. Yay! So. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Carrie. you. Yep. Thank you. We're looking forward to it. I'm excited. It's an amazing property. I think that it will go very quickly. Thank you. So honored and excited to work with you guys. Thank you. We're looking Thank forward you. to I it. I thought you really threw me off when you asked the other questions. I was like, oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> End of the row. And I appreciated her, Carrie's um, vision of what she, just who she reaches out to, who she has contact with. And it, it felt like she understood our house a little bit more. Good day, Taz, and good morning, listening panel. My name is Bill. My name is Bridget, but our friends call us the Bees. 
We've got a five bed, three and a half bath, four car showpiece home in the Northeast Boise foothills. And we're here today seeking representation from one of the top agents in the Treasure Valley. Well, it sounds like you guys are super well versed in home selling. What brings you on the show today? Thank you for that question, Paz. Uh, you know, it's interesting. I could probably walk you through our house tomorrow and I could show you every switch plate that I have every screw in a certain direction, every material that we've picked out, as well as every vendor that went into the home that we did. But it's really interesting. I know different sellers are gonna be here for different reasons today, but for us, we generally find it's great to have that one degree of separation. We have poured so much of our heart and soul into this house and we just feel blessed and lucky to have you here today to help us find that perfect buyer and the next caretaker for our home. So now let's begin with a short video tour of your gorgeous East Boise Foothills home. We are here in Harris North at this gorgeous five bedroom, three and a half bath, four car garage home that has custom finishes from floor to ceiling. This home is absolutely stunning. It's a showstopper. You can tell from all the custom woodwork, the high-end finishes, everything here just comes together so nicely. Here we have water jetted marble, dual quartz countertops, and double stack cabinetry that goes all the way to the ceiling. With floor to ceiling windows and sweeping foothill views, this master suite is the epitome of privacy and tranquility. Upstairs, you'll find a multi purpose room that can be used as an office, game room, or second living room. End the day on your private patio and enjoy the beautiful views of the Boise foothills. Okay agents, after taking a video tour of this home, let's answer any initial questions you have. So I was curious, do you have the master on the main or is it upstairs? Our master is on the main. Okay, great, thank you. Uh -huh. Um, beautiful house. It's awesome. Great area. Um, what's your favorite feature of your house? Thanks, Brett. Uh, I think our favorite feature is probably the views that we have out of our house. That's awesome. You guys, you said that you go from builder grade to builder great. We're all familiar with those homes up there and uh, what the standards are for the builder. Um, when looking at the numbers, they're skewed all over the board in Harris North. So can you give us an idea of what you did to your home to make it builder great? I think between all of our custom light fixtures, um, between the woodwork, there was a multitude of woodwork that was completed after the fact. Um, all the little details, like Bill said, we just didn't leave a single stone unturned or untouched because I think we are all very familiar with the standards and those standards don't match ours and it's important to build a product that not only we could live in forever, but someone else could as well. Keller Williams Realty Boise is the right professional home for me because of the culture. A culture of abundance, a sharing, a growth, which they have lived up to tenfold. The primary goal of any market center is to support their agents and it's more than a marketing slogan for us. I believe we've experienced exponential growth because we do follow the Keller Williams model. We provide world-class education. We provide an environment of growth and collaboration. If you're coming to work every day and you're around growth-minded people, your business is naturally going to be better. Keller Williams Realty Boise offers an incredible coaching program. Whether they're a brand new agent or growing this massive team, we've got different levels of personalized coaching. In my first year, Keller Williams helped guide me to do 25 deals in nine months. Keller Williams has absolutely changed my life. I was making $12 an hour, and now fast forward to last year, for the first time ever, I netted over a million dollars. And it's because of the things that I learned being at this company. 
Welcome back to List to Last. Let's follow up with our agents and have them give us their opinion of value. Brett, you're up first. First of all, the three Bs. <laughs> Bill, Bridget, Brett. <laughs> it's made. We have to do this. But um, looking at the comps that I saw, your house is definitely above builder grade, no question. Um, two of the comps in there were modern, which are just different altogether. Um, you know, you've got to market for modern people and they'll end up paying a little bit more. Um, the view sounds incredible. Um, it would, and just looking at the other ones, I think the active listing is too high by quite a bit. And so I think that um, a really good price point that may, and we may come up from there would be basically 1865000 Okay, thank you. Thank you, Brett. Yeah, absolutely. So I have you a little bit higher than Brett. I have you at 2.1. Um, and the reason that I did that is because you were telling me all of the amazing upgrades that you did. You're clearly above builder grade. Um, I felt like the other comp that was in there that was a resale as well was builder grade from what I could tell on it. Um, you have the four car garage, you've got the beautiful views, expanding ceilings. Master on the main with that guest suite um, really opens up your buyer profile. So I think you can get more there. Um, as it relates to new construction, we know construction costs are going up, um, and the some of the homes were modern, um, and they were going to be upgraded, but they were smaller um, than your home as well. So I felt like 2.1 is where you guys could be at. Wow. Amazing. Thank Thanks, you. Cammie. So I would recommend 1.85, and I really wanted to go higher on price for you guys, yet because it is a baby resale like we talked about, I want to make sure we get the most eyes on your property okay. and then likely drive the price up if the market allows. There is a slight increase in inventory though, so we want to be careful about price. We expect to see more inventory coming on in September as well. I want to make sure to sell your home for top dollar and I know I can do that for you at this price. Thank you. Thank Christina. you. Appreciate the analysis. Absolutely love your guys' home. I love Harris North. I've actually lived up there for a few months, um, so I know that subdivision inside and out. This is my space, the luxury market. I feel like we need to be a hair under 1.9. Mentally, it gets you under the $550 per square foot mark. A resale that wasn't on the comps is one listing that I actually just sold. It had a little more square footage in yours. We got 1.55, but it didn't have the view. Okay. It also had some really cool custom features, similar appliances. Um, I think at this price, you'll drive a lot of action. Mentally, it's below the two, which will drive in the buyers. You have a lot of de demographics transitional homes, buyers relocating, downsizing, family house with all the bedrooms. Um, I think if you get a hair below the 1.9, you'll have the best chance to sell it in the first month. Okay, thank you, man. Thank you. Guys, I love your home. I put it at 1.9. Uh, the reason being your lot is spectacular. Uh, you can't get a lot like that. And as we know, when buyers come to town and most likely we will be dealing with a relocation buyer, they're looking for something that is giving them a safe haven from wherever they've come from. Uh, the idea that you can be on a private lot and not see anybody but the foothills, you've added your landscape outside, and then of course you've driven the home up in value um, with, your, with the upgrades that you've done substantially. Uh, I think when someone compares your home to the new construction, there isn't going to be comparison, uh, but I think it's important to be in the same ballpark as the new construction and let someone drive your price up from there. Uh, like my other uh, agents have mentioned, we are seeing a flattening in our market, so going on at the right number right now is more important than ever. Thank you for that thoughtful analysis. Thanks, Thank you, Carrie. Carrie. Right, Bridget, Bill, now that you've seen everyone's opinion on value, what are your thoughts? Uh, certainly uh, overwhelmed, uh, not what we would have expected uh, being in this market for a couple of short years, but very exciting. Very exciting, and it's so nice to see that everyone is so close together. Certainly doesn't help making the decision any easier. Now that we've seen your guys' estimates, let's compare it to a third-party market evaluation. Agents, this home has been independently valued at $1.9 million. After review, Brett, Matt, Carrie, you guys are moving to the next round. Cami, Christina, unfortunately, you will not be moving to the next round. The sellers can ask the agents questions about their listing strategies, their experience, or any other questions that come up. So let's begin.
Bridget, Bill? All right. Who, which agent would you like to start with? I guess we'll start with Brett. Brett, how would you take us from B squared to B cubed? Ooh. Tell us your experience. Okay, so first of all, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I was thinking three Bs, but that's even better. So let's go with that. Um, you know, during this process, like you kind of think of it as like a short term relationship, right? So we'll be talking to each other all the time based on like, the, and your house is so beautiful. I don't know that we necessarily need to do any staging, especially considering that we're going to have most of that furniture is included or potentially could be included in the cell. Um, so a lot of it will just be like um, timing as far as like making sure when you, when you like to do showings and some of those things as well. From a marketing side of things, um, that's something I like to go into in detail with you. But some of the first things that we'd like to do right off the bat is just show our digital strategy. Uh, as far as communication with the, in, with the agents in the industry, I know so many of these agents, and so that's a big key is that I've worked with you know, hundreds if not thousands of these agents over the years. So when I put something on the market, um, I have a great relationship with these people where they'll text and call and, and we, we can start getting some really good showings for you. Great, thank you so much. Do you guys have any questions for Matt? Yeah. Uh, hi, Matt. Good hi. to see you again. Uh, the question that I had, you had mentioned a little bit earlier that you tend to specialize or enjoy dealing with people on the luxury end of the market. Would you be comfortable telling us a little bit about who you think that the luxury buyer is for our home and what are you going to be doing differently with your team to make this a top sale in the area? Yeah, my team, I love my team. We have a full service team from, from interior, um, designer, stager. Um, we have a graphic designer for all the marketing. It's all in-house, just on my team. We don't farm any of it out. You deal with us directly. Um, as far as million dollar sales go, I'm at the top of the list for million dollar listings that have sold. We have a high net worth clientele that come in. I do think, that I will agree with Brett, I think the buyer's definitely gonna be from out of state. Um, a local buyer seeing a 1.9 price tag might seem like a big number, whereas somebody out of state buying a brand new turnkey home, bring your toothbrush for under two million, is still a great, great deal coming from a bigger market. Uh, um, and we're very confident we can keep the same systems in place. I just sold the home down the street. It actually closed this morning. And I, I think we can keep the same systems in place that's working and get you the same results. Great, great. thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you everyone. And thank you, Brett, Matt, and Carrie. Your expertise and experience is just what we need. It is, and you certainly have not made this decision easy at all, but after we've taken some time to review and weigh our options. I think we've made our decision. Yeah, and honestly, we probably feel that we would like to extend the listing to Matt Bauscher and your team, so we would look forward Thanks, to working Matt. with you. Nice. <laughs> I'm excited. Yes, so excited. As the host of the show, I work and help our buyers buying a home in the Treasure Valley. If you're a buyer that's potentially interested in any of the properties that you've seen on this show, please go to our website to submit your contact information for your private showing and a chance to work with me as your buyer's agent. For all you potential sellers sitting at home, please visit our website at www.listtolasttv.com to fill out an application to be selected for an upcoming episode.